Hi everyone, Victor here. How's everybody doing? This is my latest project. Um, it's a photo editor that runs in the browser. I've been calling it custom filter because it can run custom filters um, on images. If I, for instance, I have this image over here. If I want to detect the edges of this image, I can run this filter over here. Let me see. Yep. Here you can see that I have the edges of the image. And now that I have this operation, I can add this to my stack of images by clicking here. So now I have the original and the filter one. And under blend, I can uh, run custom equations over these two images. For instance, I can just say, like the example says here, image one, this one, plus image two. Let's me, let me see this result. Oh, interesting. This sounds like a sharpening filter, right? Um, if I click the image, if I select this image, for instance, and then I run the blend, I'll have the result. And if I click over here, I can see the original image. So I can see the difference between the two. So here's the original, and here's the result of these two images over here. Right, so this is a sharpening filter right so let me get rid of this one and now i can do the reverse operation i can get the neighbors and over here i can run like minus four four so if i then add these results to my stack and then again i ran these equations this is a blur filter right it's pretty cool, right? Yeah, so the main goal of this project was to run custom filters over images to see what I get. Like I can run custom filters and see these filters generate this. A lot of them will be crap, but other ones will generate some interesting results. Yeah, cool, right? So let me zero out and take this for instance. Under adjust, I can increase and decrease the saturation. I can turn the image to gray. I can invert the colors. I can increase the contrast. I can run some filter to um, remove noise through medium, mean, and mode. Uh, this is kind of hard to explain, but I'll just go through the image pixel by pixel and take the mean or the median or the mode and reassign that pixel to get rid of outliners um, and thus generating a noise-free image but the results are not always good uh, let me see what else i can paint i can erase i can create a square I can create a circle, I can create some lines, I can fill a region, let me change colors over here, red, orange, I can fill a region, let me see what else, I can clone, in, a, in order to use clone, um, this is the opacity by the way, let me show you. I can paint some black stuff, some orange stuff with the opacity uh, 0.1 or 1. 1 will be 100% uh, visible. And over here I can increase the brush size. So, okay, in, or, in order to use clone, I need to hold down Ctrl and select my target. So the target will be my face over here. And I, I just click over here. Let me increase the opacity. So, yeah, then I can clone. Um, let me see what else. You can flip, you can rotate. Um, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, the main thing, as I told you guys, uh, will be the, the custom filters. And you can get some pretty interesting results. You can change the size of the filter. It needs to be uh, a square value, right? 25 it's 5 by 5 
um, 16, it's 4 by 4, and the default is 9, which is 3 by 3. Um, let me see what else, what else, what else. Yeah, the idea is that, for instance, I can um, create a new layer, and then I can just um, paint some mask over here. Let me see. Paint some mask over here. And then I have this over here. And then I don't need to paint anymore. And then I can say, for instance, uh, image one times the inverse of image two. Yeah, cool, right? Because everything that, that is white, it's one. And everything that is black, it's zero. So anything times zero is zero, so, right? And everything times one is one. So I just create a mask and the result of this equation is the, is, is this. And if I like this, I can add it to my stack. Okay, so now I have this. Or I can get rid of this, for instance. And now I have these two things over here. Yeah, running filters and uh, doing operations on their blend, you can get some pretty cool images. Um, and I've been fiddling with this a lot. Uh, I'm kind of have fun playing with this thing. So I decided to share. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys... Uh, for instance, I can, uh, under mask, I, I feel like I should show you guys this. I created a mask and if I want, I can see what I'm, where I'm painting, right? So I can select this, inst this image. If I double click it, it will be uh, my background. Then I can select my mask. And then if I change the opacity. So, okay, what's happening? What's going on? Uh, I'm working on this layer, which is image three, but underneath it, I have a background, which is this image. So I can see what I'm doing. For instance, if I want to paint a mask over here, now I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I just mask the monitor. Then I can um, change the opacity back. And now I have this mask. If I want to get rid of this image, I just have to double click it again. It goes away. Yeah. Now I have this stack of images and every image on the stack is available to me like the variables I for image one, two, three for this one's I1, I2, I3. If I want to show I3, I just show I3. And if I show I3 times I1, let me see what I get. Uh, yeah, I get this. This is no good. So let me see. I can just invert this mask. Let me invert this mask. Okay, so now I have just a monitor and I can add I1 to the formula. Right? No, I need to add I2. Now I have just my face and just the monitor. And if I like this, I can add to my stack. I can delete, I can delete, yeah, pretty cool, right? Hope you guys like it, as soon as I have more stuff, uh, I'll share it with you guys, bye.